Namaste and crystal blessings to my earthly celestial and elemental soul tribe in this realm and beyond. Nikki is back by the creek. I'm here finally after many months. It feels so good. If you can hear the forces of nature, the elements of the wind. If you don't have a creek or a nature, a park, a woods close to you, you can always open the window or just go outside your house if it's too overcrowded. Depends on where your um, abode is, where you're living at. Just imagine. What's most important is our intention, our imagination. It's not I know it's easier said than done, but if we cannot be in nature, natural, a park, or anywhere else that you can go inward, in your room is sufficient. Just imagine the sound of the rain, the sound of thunder, if you connect to those sounds, the sound of the wind, with the leaves dancing in the forces, the sounds of um, crackling of fire, all these elements of nature. You can just close your eyes and take deep breath, conscious breathing back to the hot space here. Like how I say, I always wish you the highest vibration of love from my heart space to yours, the chakra the energy field, our energetic field, as we are electromagnetic, Taurus field ourselves, this is our zero point to come back always. So, as we are in nature, I would like to give this beautiful reading today to connect with our animal, sentient beings, with the Spirit of the Animals Oracle by Jody Bergsma. And I've chosen this beautiful is too bright. This is the um, blue lace I get that I got recently. An extremely calming stone and wonderful energy. As we are ending the month of August and getting into September we have four more months before 2022. As I've always said in my previous videos, this shift that's happening to us and each and every living being in this earth realm is on hyperdrive. So there's nothing stopping it right now. If it's too much for you, find that, that unified quantum zero field energy come back to this space because it's not easy to be dealing with if you're not aligned vibrationally in mind, body, spirit and your soul and connect to nature as much as possible with all the elements and elementals around us so let's tap into our sentient beings to see what messages or message biggest card deck that I have. That's beautiful. Those of you who have this deck will know how gorgeous the artwork of Jody Bergsman. So no complaints. So here we got a card this blue <laughs> from the deck in a 
forces of nature. We we'll take a look. Each animal kind. The hawk. The messenger. Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You can see what's happening in the world for all of us as collective mankind every living being okay eliminate those distractions the artificial inorganic distractions you have a bright future let yourself ascend to new heights so beautiful hawk let's see what the book says represents courage, swiftness, clear sight, focus, intensity, premonition, fidelity, high purpose, discernment, messages from the spirit. So the hawk with this extraordinary vision and high vantage point has the ability to see what others cannot. Hawks are associated with the realms of the ancient gods. Jupiter and Mercury both had Hawk as their ally. Hawk is often called messenger of the gods. To see a hawk or hear its shrill cry can be a warning to be more aware. Look to all the details and omens to pause and reflect on what may be amiss. Hawks are made for life and the pair raises their young in a strong and secure nest. Hawks look out for family. When embroiled in family issues, take flight and breathe the fresh air. Too much emotion can cloud Hawks' clear vision. Hawk always means spirit is at hand. So we are being guarded and guided and protected. Always have that faith. Keep the faith. Hawk people benefit from focus and sharp observation to guide them to a best outcome. They believe in a bright future because they soar above others and see the way to success in all ventures. Optimism is one of Hawk's virtues. If Hawk calls you, it may be wise to spend some time studying the currents of life and follow where they lead. The wind with its power, the wind, with its power. And direction will be your guide. As we are experiencing these forces, magnificent forces of wind element. So the wind with its power and direction will be your guide. You can fly and reach the sky. You are stronger than you think, braver than you believe, and wiser than you know. I shall repeat that again. You are stronger than you think, braver than you believe, and wiser than you know. You are stronger than you think, braver than you believe, and wiser than you know. And what they have told you, what have you given thought and told all your life we have to unlearn what we have learned because we are powerful beings the quantum beings we are the sovereign beings we are we need to take that power back our sovereignty and start walking like we are wearing the crown of royalty so the contrary for this card is have you lost your bird eye view and are missing the obvious? Be very mindful what you are looking at and watching right now. That's being fed to you through those media, electronic or otherwise. What you hear, what you see, and what you perceive is very important. Because you are the creator of your reality. So is it time to get more focused on family or goals? 
Are you listening to the messengers of the gods? Or has emotion clouded your perception? This is a very powerful message indeed for all of us. So I hope you enjoy these beautiful messages that came to us today through the elements of wind, through the animal totem of the hawk that we tap back into this unified zero point of our heart chakra and go and tap into that sovereign being, the power, that magic. Lots of love from me in Lakesh Namaste. Wishing you all the highest vibration of love, peace, harmony, abundance, health, creativity, and magic. Love you all. Let's look one more time. It's bright here, yes. That's the hawk for us.